It's like being hit in the mouth with a baseball bat. It was beyond ridiculous with how she treated people. I mean, it was, it was horrible. I don't understand why she's not in jail. Victims of dental work gone terribly wrong. More people are sharing their stories of a former High Point dentist operating on them. Dr. Shawana Patterson lost her license after two of her patients died. The medical board hasn't opened up any other cases, but the stories keep coming out. And still, all of that is only one side of the story. There's a key person we haven't heard from, Dr. Patterson. She's been avoiding our calls and emails, so we tried to talk to her face to face. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty drove to her house in Charlotte tonight. She also heard from another triad victim. While her business in High Point is permanently closed, she won't answer or return our calls. But after the report detailing the board's decision to revoke her license, we wanted to hear directly from her. So I drove to her house in Charlotte. I knocked on the door, rang the bell, and waited. No one responded. I left a card hoping at some point to hear from Dr. Patterson. Meantime, stories are still coming out from former patients like Jennifer Carter. It's been exactly eight months that I went to Shawana Patterson. That was the only option that they gave me with Medicaid. Carter says she went to Dr. Patterson to get her teeth pulled. She told Patterson she didn't want to go under for the procedure because she felt uncomfortable. Once I got in the door, I didn't feel comfortable with the woman, so I didn't let her put me to sleep. I stayed woke while she pulled my top and bottom all my teeth. When she finally got all my teeth out my mouth, she threw me out on the back porch like a dead dog. She said the numbing medicine didn't work and she lost a lot of blood afterwards. A couple days later, she says she was still bleeding and passed out while driving, totaling her car. After hearing the news of Dr. Patterson and the two deaths, she hopes Patterson will never get her license back. You just never think all these people dying. I mean, when God's ready, ain't nothing that can stop you from going. When you're born, you're born to go your date and your call. But you never expect, in 56 years, I never heard of no one going to the dentist and not returning home. Earlier this week, the dental board told us, that, told us that once a dentist or oral surgeon's license is revoked, it's virtually impossible to escape the mark on their record. They tell us this generally means other states won't issue a license in the future.